So at its core, video editing is taking two or more video clips, trimming away the parts you don't want, and stitching the rest together to create something new. To do this, you need two things, video footage and a video editing software. I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 to demonstrate, but most video editing softwares will perform these basic functions. Step one, start a project. Open Premiere and click New Project. Give your project a name and hit OK. Next, you will get the New Sequence window. For simplicity purposes, name the new sequence the same thing as your project. For now, don't worry about selecting a video preset from the list, just hit OK. Now on to step two, bring your video into Premiere. To do this, select File from the top, followed by Import. Then find the folder your footage is in, select what you need, and hit Open. It will now be in your project panel. Step three, bring your footage onto your timeline. To do this, first double click on the footage, which will now preview in the Source panel. Single out the portion of the clip you want by hitting the I key for in at the start of what you want and the O key for out at the end of what you want. From here, all you need to do is click on the video in the source panel and drag it down to your timeline. When you move a clip to your timeline, you will get a clip mismatch warning window. If your footage is the size and quality you want for your final video, select change sequence settings. Step four, edit your footage. Here are the basics. You can move clips around your timeline by dragging them. If you want to shorten a clip, hover over one end of the clip, and once you see this icon, click and drag to shorten or lengthen the clip. If you want to cut one clip into several individual parts, click the razor icon on the toolbar or hit Ctrl C, then hover over the point in the clip you want to cut and then left click. If you want to delete the empty space between clips, left click on the empty space and hit the delete key. If you want to resize a clip, select the clip in the timeline, then find the effects control window. Click the drop down arrow to the left of motion under video effects. Adjust scaling will zoom in and out, and adjusting position will, well, adjust position. You can also adjust the position of your clip by dragging it around in the program preview panel. Step five, adding music. Importing music and adding it to your timeline is the same process as importing and adding video. The only difference is that music will not have a video channel and you want to drag it down to the audio channel under your video clips audio. Step six, export. First, make sure this gray work area bar extends from the beginning to the end of the video you want to be exported as part of your final video. Once that is done, hit File, then hit Export, then find Media. What you see now is the Export Settings window. You can change the format to H.264. This is an MP4 format. Which preset you use depends on a lot of factors, such as the quality and frame rate of your video. I shoot at 1080p 30 frames per second, and since I'm uploading to YouTube, I use the YouTube HD 1080p 30 frames per second preset. This is where your final project will be saved at and what it'll be called. Make sure you put it somewhere you can find it. Next, make sure export video and export audio are selected. Finally, hit export. Congrats, you have edited your first video on Premiere Pro and your journey to becoming a comprehensive editor has officially begun. Of course, there is still much to learn, so go check out my channel for more video and editing techniques, tips, and tricks.